What is going on, YouTube? I just straight here. Let's talk about our boy Deutsch Gordon here and how this pup is getting ready to run it up or getting ready to sell it off. For me personally, I hope she sells off. I know a lot of people are probably going to tell me to go to hell, but hey, I want a better price before we get ready to load up and load up and before we steal this bitch up and take off to the moon. You know what I mean? I mean, we have so much hype going on in this corner right now. It's just out of control. I mean, there's a petition going out for Amazon to start accepting Dogecoin as a payment. I mean, it's just crazy, right? I mean, if, I mean, I actually feel like Amazon might jump on it first just so Jeff Bezos can actually beat Elon at something, you know what I mean? I mean, because Elon pretty much beat him in the last year. What, he turn, um, passed him up for a quick moment on the weakest man. You know what I mean? It's crazy. And then now we're calling him a dog father. But Deutsch father, I mean, it's, Elon's the best, man. I love that guy. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm really excited about SNL to come up. I mean, don't really know what's going to happen. I mean, if anybody out there is going to tell you that they know that's going to happen, you li they're lying to you. Don't listen to that fool. He's full of shit. You know what I mean? Uh, let's read a couple things on what they are saying on Twitter because Twitter, we are killing it over there. It's all over the place. Okay, and the speculation frenzy, the digital uh, funny money's price has zoomed more than 12,000%. To more than sixty cents per coin since the start of the year. Yes, it has. If you had invoice, if you had invested in this one in the beginning of the year, you would have made, man, you would have blew up your, you would have been good by now. I mean, come on, any, if you'd have put a hundred bucks in here, you probably have turned it into at least five thousand by now. It's just it's out of control. Love it. This is the only way you're gonna be able, we're gonna be able to take our financial freedom away from these damn banks and all those bad actors. I mean, you know how many times I've had a bank call me up and be like, oh, we have some, you know. Or how many times I've been part of uh, lawsuits because, like, well, so I used to bank a Wells Fargo a long time ago, and like, there's so many lawsuits that happen because of the stuff that happens. How many times you hear of a uh, cryptocurrency getting sued because of you know bad actors or some stuff that happened that was you know a mistake on their end? It just doesn't happen because there's there is no mistakes on cryptocurrency. There's too many people watching it. There's transparency like none other. <laughs> You can call the bank up and be like, hey, bro, are you guys completely transparent with me? That fool's going to laugh at you. He's like, yeah, sure. We're transparent with you to whatever the hell you need to be told, okay? So we have uh, Elon Musk. You know, who else is going to be? Oh, we got Miley Cyrus. I, I mean, it, it's, it's going to be crazy. I hope that he t I'm hoping that we see like a, I don't know, like a, an ad or something for Doge. You know what I mean? That'll be wild. What should I do? Musk inquired, offering up a few ideas of his own. One of them involved Iron Man. A play on the Marvel superhero Iron Man. <laughs> Straight up, yeah. In recent Disney films, was partly inspired by Musk. He can <laughs> crime fighter. That was good. Superheroes are a ripe subject for par uh, party. Um, uh, the Rock. That's what The Rock said, yeah. Uh, mutiny on SpaceX Starship. What is this? What? It would be a missed opportunity if SNL didn't use the occasions of Musk appearance to set a skit aboard. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. You're you going to have so much fun with this damn stuff today. This Saturday Night Live is going to be wild, bro. Man. They're going to have Neuralink Tech demo gone wrong. It's going to be It's going to be just crazy. Then we got the second uh, self-driving car crash, man. They're just, they're, it's going to be out of control, man. I mean, you got to love Elon, man. I mean, the, the dude knows what he's doing. He has pumped this coin up like it's crazy what he's done. And then, all right, uh, we got Bitch Dogecoin break all-time highs ahead of the SNL. I mean, that's why a lot of people are kind of trying to speculate and say, oh, it's going to sell off, it's going to sell off. And people have been saying this thing's gonna sell off since forever, since as long as I can hear it, since when I bought in on it when it was less than freaking half a penny. I mean, it, they're still saying it's gonna sell off. It's like it hasn't sold off. I mean, you mean to tell me that this coin's gonna make it up to seventy-five cents and then it's gonna sell off to nothing? Like, are you high? I mean, I mean, I'm a little high, but damn, I'm not that high, bro. Whatever, they're smoking. I need some of this. It's a gold coin. It hit uh, seventy-three cents at six a.m. After, before retreating to its current price of 71 cents, according to data from market analyst site uh, Nomics. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, top five cryptos and stories of the feature in the inbox of the day. Da, 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 at the peak day, the, the joke coin. Everybody keep calling it a joke. Yeah, it's a joke coin. All right, the joke coin's going to make it not going to. It has made a lot of millionaires. 
a lot of millionaires, including myself. Speculators believe that the SNL skit could introduce Dogecoin to a whole new audience. That's what we're going for, baby. I mean, you know how much, like, we need exposure in this Saturday Night Live. I mean, how many people watch Saturday Night Live? I mean, you know, I, I got, we got grandparents and we got, oh, everybody's asking, like, well, what's up with this Dogecoin? And I'm like, what do you mean? Like, why are you asking about it, man? The thing is, I bought it as a, I bought it because, like, I was like, oh, man, look how cheap it is. Let me throw a couple of. Let me throw five thousand dollars at it and see what it'll do. <laughs> so yeah, we, we believe this is gonna introduce a whole new audience. I mean, we have well, there's like what five or six platforms that are offering it now, and we have more that are about to offer it as so you can trade it. I mean, say no more, baby. What more do you guys need here? You still, everybody's still asking, should I buy it? Should I buy it? What the no, don't buy it then, please. Leave some more for the ones that want to be rich and want to, you know, take over their financial freedom and, you know, put stick it to these banks, man. These banks have just been, they, man, look at what they did back in 07, 08. That wasn't caused by no, no uh, pandemic that was unforeseeable. No, it was caused by people with greed. I mean, BS. Yeah, Musk has never confirmed personal investments in Dogecoin, except on behalf of his son. Which, I mean, what more do you need to know? He is invested in it. It may not be for him, it's for his son. So he, I mean, come on, what the hell? He, he, he the, the dude, he ain't stupid. He knows like, oh man, I'm gonna get this right here and Dogecoin by the time my son's of age, he's gonna be a damn billionaire, if not a trillionaire. That's the way Musk is thinking. That dude, he, he man, come on. That's the way, that's the way when, when Musk said like, oh, I got it for my son, I'm like, man, this is a long-term play. Say no more. Say no more. Where are we trading at right now? Let's see. Let me, let me, let me, let's, do, let's throw a little technical analysis up in this video right here. You know what I mean? Everybody always talking about, you know. Yeah, let's look at this thing. Let's see. Now you got to look at this guy, Lover. Fucking Miley Cyrus, man. Elon, man, he's looking, he's just like, yep, yeah, I'm over here just messing everything up. I'm over here, man, get out the way, all you old money. That's what Elon said. He said, get the hell out the way with the old money. Man. Like, shit, we need new money in here. We actually, you know, I mean, I ain't saying that, you know, like, we, all of us new investors or, you know, even myself, we're, we know the stock market. We know how to come in and how to take the bull by the horns because, I mean, nobody knows how to do that. I mean, look at these guys have been in the stock. The only reason why we got Warren Buffett and all these other guys that have, you know, Mar uh, Charlie Munger who will have, like, they're like, oh, yeah, we got, you know, Coca-Cola at, like, 40. Man, those fools are old as dirt, bro, okay? Old as pine, okay? They've been around they've been around long enough. Of course they have it. Of course those fools ain't got nothing to worry about. They're like, ah, slow and steady. Bro, <laughs> slow and steady don't work no more. The reason why they say slow and steady is because they didn't never understood technical analysis. They said, oh, it's a good, I mean, how are you going to go wrong when you buy a good company who uh, beats earnings and has a um, good guidance and just is an overall good fundamental company? I mean, of course, they're, you're not going to have nothing to worry about. But I mean, who the hell, who can't go out there and pick a good company like that? Like, oh, let me go grab Coca-Cola. Oh, let me go grab, you know, Bank of America. Oh, let me go grab JP Morgan. I mean, at the end of the day, those, those ones are going to go up. But I mean, you can come in and grab Deutsch and take this thing up from nothing to something. The 74 cents? Come on, man. man. You don't hear no Charlie Mungler no more. Man, stop it. Bullshit. Those guys don't know what they're doing. We're here to show them, like, nah, man. You know how much Charlie Mungler and that other guy and uh, Warren Buffett? I don't even like them. Me, personally, I'm a Peter Lynch kind of guy. That dude's legit in my book. Peter Lynch has always been about the retail investor. He's always said the retail investor had a, had a more of an edge than he did. That's why the guy retired right away. He said, nah, I'm cool. It's too much BS inside here. But, I mean, that's why they, why they never, didn't like him. Because he, like, if you ever really listen to any interviews of, with uh, Peter Lynch, they always spoke over him. Anytime the guy would speak, like, I mean, if you read his book, the dude, I mean, man, he's a damn genius. The guy retired in, like, less than, what, less than 20 years. It was wild, man. I mean, you're going to be like, a war buffer today, man, they don't like the cryptocurrency because look at what is done. Those are like, man, we've been in the stock market since I was like three years old and I'm, you know, I'm, 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 I'm doing it really, really nice. But you know, these are, <laughs> we got newer guys, <laughs> all this younger generation just jumping in here. We're just going straight to the moon, son. Oh, this is nice right here. 
I'm getting ready to see some nice. Oh yeah, see we just tested the 200 and we're gonna average this. this is, um, we are either gonna break up to the high side or we might, we might, we might end up testing 52 cents. We might end up, we, uh, we might end up testing 50 cents. So like if you're overexposed and you're like over leveraged in this one right here, trim back. You know what I mean? Trim back a third, trim back, you know, a half. Remember, this is not financial advice in any which way. If you attempt to copy my trades, you will lose money. Consult a professional before you buy or sell any asset or hold on to labels or use charts, clips, and articles. Listen to some random guy or chick on YouTube. But, um, I, I mean, if you are, all, let's say you are a bag holder at 74 cents or something like that, and let's say this thing does drop down to 55 cents. I mean, you ain't got no 50 cents. You ain't got no dry powder. We'll, we'll trim back right now so it's not such a bad blow. I mean, because there's, I, I, me personally, I'd rather be wrong. I'd rather be late than be wrong. You know what I mean? I'd rather come into the show a little bit late. Uh, that's the way I look at it. But yeah, I mean, uh, that's what I would do personally. Unless you, unless you have enough dry powder to average in and average up or however you want to say it, then okay, then that's not bad. But then, okay, you know, you can write it out. But, you know, that's, that, that's how I would play this game, seeing how we tested this. Which, I mean, we tested the 200-day moving average twice already. Which I needed to test it one more time to verify if we are going to run a, run this 80 up. So, I mean, that's why I'm thinking like SNL today. I mean, it might not. I mean, it, it's just hard to say. This is just purely, this is purely speculating on, on, on my part or anybody's other part. Hey, 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 one sec. There we go. All right, now I'm on there. Now let's see. Now you can see my other face, but... Um, I mean, it, it looks nice. It looks good and all, but I just, I just don't know right now. I mean, we, 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 if we would have broken down to 20, 25, 20, 25, something like that on the higher side, I would have been fully, like, man. I mean, I'm still hyped. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. No, I'm, I'm still hyped, but I'm not. I'm hyped because it's gonna come down a little bit. So I feel kind of bad for a lot of people. I'm expecting this one to come back here, right here, and test this area. So this is what, what I'm expecting. Of stay here like if we stay here and we're able to bounce off of uh if we're able to bounce off this 60 this 71 range 71 70 71 70 range and we're able to continuously test that resistance i see no reason why we can't go to the upside as long as we don't stay down here on this on the support side i mean i just i don't know this one's gonna be rough Cryptocurrency is not like looking at, I mean, you, you, it's not the same way as doing, I mean, in a way it is the same technical analysis, it's just that this asset, these assets are just so damn volatile. I mean, look at this, it just fell down, there, there should have been no reason for this to come, come crashing down. Other than people taking profit, so that, that, that's the other thing that I am like trying to, account, account, trying to, you know, accumulate or calculate for in my um, forecast on what I'm expecting to happen. It's like, we gotta realize we've had I mean, which it makes no sense. Like, if you've been holding this coin and you put your thousand, a couple hundred bucks, even five thousand, ten thousand, whatever amount, and you bought in less than a penny, why the hell would you want to sell now for? That makes zero sense. I mean, I get it. You're up, you know, some seven thousand percent or something like that. But I mean, it's ran up this mo, this mo, this much, <laughs> this much. And looking at the charts, it's like it has more room to run. I mean, and then if you've been in for that long, it's like if you've been holding in back here. It makes zero sense because look at this chart. This chart has been, it hasn't, it's not like it's shot straight up. You know what I mean? In a sense, we, we, we've had it where it has consolidated. I mean, that, that, that's what we need. We, we need a cooling off space, a cooling off sign. It's like a spring, basically. Like a spring shoots up, you know what I mean? It contracts. Like in order for it to be able to move on to the next one, it needs to be able to have that, that retract and extract kind of deal going on. You know what I mean? It's like we need this, this thing to cool off reload and then poof cool off cool off poof that's what we need it's just a big spring we need it to load cool off compress itself and bam shoot itself so 
Like if it can, if it just shoots itself, like it's got, it's it's gonna tire itself out quickly. Like in, in a sense, like just think of it that way. Like you don't want, we don't want this dog to get tired. We want this one that's like a thoroughbred. Like we we ain't gonna run this, we ain't gonna run this horse. You know, a hundred percent. Let's go. But I mean, it, it does look pretty nice right there. I like seeing that key right now. Like we, we're probably gonna see a pretty big run up before um, Elon starts talking. So I, I, I'm just gonna keep watching this one and see. But I ain't expecting us to probably in the next. I would say by six o'clock we gonna see some exciting stuff happen. So you know, I'm out, baby. Don't forget to drop a comment, subscribe, and share. And you know, what I mean, you know what to do. I shouldn't have to tell nobody. It's crazy. You come to YouTube, you know, what I mean, that's the first thing you do. Drop that like.